In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21, how to use it to be able to beat every coverage in the game, and also a quick tutorial on some pass protection out of the gun bunch. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe. And if you want to know whenever we release a new video, go ahead and turn on your notifications. That way YouTube will know that will now let you know whenever we release a new video. All right, guys, for those of you that don't know, I just released a full ebook on the shotgun bunch formation in Madden 21. Obviously, it's been one of the best passing formations year in and year out, and this year is no different. So if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive ebook, that link is available for you in the description. Now, I also have attached it with a bundle uh, with the bunch tied in, and that link is also available for description if you want to run both the shotgun bunch and the bunch tight end, they're both available down there. Or if you want to run each of them separately, um, I have created you know different different things for you down there. So you can get either the bunch guide, the bunch tight end guide, or you can get both the bunch tight end and the bunch um, for a, a reduced price if you want to get both of the offenses. So um, what I wanted to do today was I wanted to talk specifically about a concept out of this Jets dig and how to use this play to really, really work up and down the field against your opponent. So Jets dig is probably my favorite play. Um, it's, it's becoming one of my favorite plays out of this formation. You'll find that you'll fall in love with a lot of different plays um, in this just because of simply how they work. So first and foremost, I want to show you um, a standard cover three Mabel coverage. And I talked a little bit about this earlier today, but basically you don't have to do anything. So if you just snap the ball, you're going to see that this R1 receiver is going to basically glitch out the outside third, and you're going to be able to kind of get this over the top of him. Now what you want to do is in essence, you just want to wait um, for the cornerback on the left-hand side to, or I'm sorry, on the right-hand side to kind of go to the outside to cover the flat zone. So you'll see I'm just watching that corner on the right. Once he goes to the right, there you see he goes to the right, and then I'm just gonna pass lead this straight up. And as you can see, it's over the top for a big, big gain, okay? So you have that ability within this offense to be able to hit them over the top. Now, the beauty of this is I could max protect and do this. So you'll see here, like if I go to a max protect situation where I'm you know, thinking they might be sending a lot of pressure, and so I wanna block both my running back and my tight end, um, then what you're going to see here is this R1 receiver is still going to get open against this. He might even get open a little bit better against the cover three, as you can see right there. Absolute laser over the top. And there's two different types of cover three beaters built into this play, which is what makes it so incredibly effective against cover three. So if you take a look at the instant replay, what you're going to notice here is that this in route on the backside, you're going to see he's going to go. He's going to pull it off. You watch this safety. Watch what's going to happen here. So we'll zoom out um, as much as we can. We'll zoom out a little bit, might come back a little bit here, just so you can see. So I just want you to kind of watch the safety. You'll see about that point right there, you see that that in route is gonna pull the safety down. And now I have a window all throughout this grass area back in here that is wide open against a cover three. What that means is if they do run, you know, some type of cover three, then I can simply work this up and down the field. Now, the question that you might be asking is, does this beat cover three if they deep half on the outside? So you'll see, I'm going to put both of my outside corners in deep halves, and I just want you to watch the play as it develops. And again, we'll just block everybody to give you yeah, a little bit of extra time. And what you're going to notice is, you know, you're not able to hit this window. That is going to take that away if they do deep half. The problem is for the defense, if they deep half, then you can go to plays like the mesh. You could go to plays like verticals um, to be able to beat this. Another little thing that you can do, another little trick that you could do with this play is if you simply streak the tight end, you'll notice that a lot of the times if they're deep halfing on the outside, especially if you're on the short side of the field, it's not always um, the case for the left side, but if you're on the short side, even more so. But if you watch this R1 receiver, you're gonna see that that tight end is gonna kind of pull people with him. And you can kind of throw this here. Um, again, it's, it's, it's more of a short side thing. And I'm gonna flip the play and show you uh, what that looks like in just a second. But this is a short side cover two bomb. So you'll see, like, let's say that you're on, let's say that they're running a cover three and they're deep halfing on that and you're going to flip your bunch and run it to the short side, right? You can easily do that. And I just want you to watch again, that streak to the tight end and then that route to R1. And what you're going to see here is that that, that outside fade 
is going to get over the top of that deep half for a one-play touchdown. It's going to basically beat it as soon as the ball is snapped. On the wide side, that doesn't happen, but on the short side, that happens fairly consistently. So you'll see right, right here, again, I'm going to put those deep halves out there and set up kind of a Mabel coverage. And what you're going to watch is I'm going to block the running back. That's the only adjustment that I'm going to make. If you wanted to do something with this square receiver, you could, but I would just leave him on his route. And what you'll see is that that R1 is going to kind of fade. It's almost like a corner route to the outside, but you could easily pass lead that to the outside, especially if you have um, a gunslinger quarterback. That's going to help you out a ton. And, you know, in my personal opinion, at this point of the season, it just doesn't make sense to pass without having the gunslinger ability. Um, obviously, if you're in much drops, that's a little bit different. But again, you'll see here with these flat routes to pull zones, you'll see here, all I got to do is just throw this to the outside, kind of fade it over the top, and it's an absolute laser against cover three invert. So you have a cover three beater and a cover four beater within the same play. Now the question is, what about a uh, cover four drop? So cover four drops, another popular coverage. Um, and so same kind of thing. I'm going to streak the tight end, and then I'm just going to kind of run some simple flats here on the outside here. And what you'll notice is I can basically pass lead all the way to the right, and you're going to see that it ha does have a chance to get over that cover four. It doesn't always get over the cover four, but it certainly has a very good opportunity. So you'll see here again, all I'm doing is streaking the tight end. That's the only adjustment that I'm going to make, and you'll see that R1 receiver is going to kind of shift out and basically you're just passing that all the way to the right and it's a tender throw but you can certainly use or catch that um, with your with your players so again uh, cover four drop if you wanted to you could even put the tight end on a, a curl uh, let me show you what a curl would look like if I put that tight end on a curl you'll see here unfortunately it doesn't kind of stay but it does kind of hold that left side guy and and you can kind of get that over the top but again that's just something you know, that's just something that, again, I would tell you, you know, go ahead and test this out for yourself. But you'll find that this cover four bomb is actually really, really, really good. You'll see here it gets him to the outside. And that's more what we were trying to get that little animation right there. Get over the top of that. And that's a one play touchdown against cover four. So you now have a one play touchdown formula against cover three, cover four, cover two uh, or cover three invert. I apologize. And then I wanted to show you. Let me show you that cover four one more time. So, again, I'm just going to pass commit streak the tight end and once you see here again once he's even he's kind of leaving so right there hard left pass lead click on it's a tight window but man if you can hit that window that's a huge huge thing to be able to hit uh against this against the defense especially uh in this game now again cover three uh, let me show you that real quick so th with that same adjustment you'll see here it doesn't really change a whole lot um you know for the cover three side of things you're still going to have the dig you're either going to have the dig or the streak um or not 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 the streak i'm sorry the the other route there now if i were to just run this against cover four you'll see here like if i just run this play as is against cover four it actually doesn't i mean you see here i mean he kind of gets over him but not really gets over him so that's why I like to say go ahead and bring the go ahead and bring the tight end streak, you know, into the equation just to kind of help it a little bit. One of the things that I've been messing around with a little bit from the gun bunch, and they have, I think they have patched this, but it used to be if you put the tight end on delay fade, he would instantly go out and they would kind of automatically respond to him. And this one they don't, and as you see, he's gonna get the interception. So that's where I say if you know it's cover four, you wanna definitely streak the tight end. Now, what about cover two? So you might be sitting there saying, well, how do you use this play to bomb cover two? Again, that's another situation where we're going to basically flip our bunch to the short side. We're going to streak our tight end, and that's all we're going to do. And what you're going to see is against cover two, you're going to basically be able to pass lead this to the outside and, of course, um, end up getting picked there. But if you lab this up enough, you'll get the, you'll get, you know, again, with this route, this is definitely a glitchy route. So you want to get the timing down. There's certainly a timing element to this. But if you know it's cover two, again, you're just getting him to fade to the left. Hard outside pass lead. It has to be outside. But as you can see right there, there is that window. Now, if I were to run this on the wide side of the field, okay? If I were to run this on the wide side of the field, it would be completely different. And this is where I talk about, you know, the importance of understanding um, just the hashes in general. Um, but what you're going to notice here is if I streak that tight end on the same side, or I'm sorry, to the wide side, you would think it would work better to the wide side. You see that that safety actually covers him a lot better. And so that's where, you know, the tight end streak would be open. But obviously that's where their user is going to be so if you see cover two you're going to want to run short side bunch if you see cover four cover three you want to run wide side bunch and as you can see right there you can kind of get that that over that window 
Now, uh, that's kind of the biggest thing about this play, but this is literally, I mean, you can pretty much take the top off of any defense. If they're running man coverage on you, um, you can you can easily hit that R1. And I'll show you one little trick with that man coverage here in just a moment. But I do want to show you cover two one more time and just show you that if I pass lead this all the way to the outside, that's more what we're looking for. And as you can see, we're able to get the separation. Now let's say that they run man coverage and they run cover zero. So uh, this is like cover zero man coverage. I'm gonna audible down to the cover two man. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put both safeties on the outside in little purple zones, okay? All I'm gonna do um, is I'm just gonna motion the wide receiver to the uh, like the slot position here. And what you'll see is oftentimes he will get over top. He doesn't for whatever reason get over top all the time in rags in mutt it's actually really really consistent the one thing that i would actually tell you to do it's been my best um the best thing that i've done is i would smart route that route you see now it's going to turn him into kind of an, a special little a special little angle that he's going to run let me show you that one more time here so again i'm just gonna put both of these guys in underneath coverage here and i just want you to watch that r1 you're gonna see that this little glitchy route gonna kind of get over it doesn't always get as you see here in regs it doesn't it doesn't get over it as much but in mutt that route will oftentimes get over a lot of it has to do with whenever they motion whenever you motion this guy over they need to kind of repress you know but if they if they do that so again if i motion over um Devonte here and they're gonna basically you know shade underneath you know, you should see something like more like what you just saw right here, where he gets over the top of him. Okay, but again, in regs, it's not as consistent. In mud, it's actually really, really consistent. So you can definitely use that um, strategy. Now, if you're playing regs, and let's say that you've got a Devonte Adams type of receiver in that spot, and you want to try this, you could also just leave him on his little fade. Oftentimes, if he's a good wide receiver. He's gonna get over the top and he's gonna base you can basically click on and make that swerve catch so this is one of the best passing plays in madden 21 in my opinion it literally can bomb every single coverage in the game you just need to know if you should run it to the short side or the wide side and whether or not you should streak the tight end or not if it's more of a cover uh three type of situation then you definitely want to streak um you know you definitely don't want to streak the tight end but if it's more of a cover four or a cover two type of defense then you definitely do want to streak um you definitely do want to streak the tight end but again this is probably one of the easiest plays to master if you're talking about how do you bomb a defense how do you get over the top this is my favorite play to do that if i want to go if i know they're in zone more than likely you're going to see this play so and the other thing is like if they blitz or you don't have time to throw it you have this little check down to your running back that's really really good all you're going to have to do is just catch the ball and truck it's a really nice little snap throw read for you. So thanks for watching this video. That's how you run a little bit, a little bit of how you run Jets Dig. We talk about this play a lot more in the ebook. If you want to get the full ebook, it's just 15 bucks. And there is a link in the description of this video. And again, if you have any questions about the video, go ahead and text me. My number is 208-218-6900. And if you send the word Madden to that cell phone number, you're going to be able to get uh, my full text message membership playlist, which is where I release new offenses and defenses for free every single week and again if you want to get that full gun bunch ebook it is just 15 dollars, and it's available in the description